It's no secret that I am not uh, a big fan of superheroes. It's been nearly 24 years since I was 12, and so it has been nearly 24 years since I was a fan of superheroes. But still the question remains, of all the superheroes, which five are the worst? And I may not seem like the most qualified person to answer that question, but I think I'm, I'm the most qualified, actually. I can be entirely objective about this. And with that in mind, I thought today we would do something very important and review and rank the five My worst word. superheroes. We'll go down the list from five to one. We'll start here. Number five, Wonder Woman. Okay. People actually watch this. People watch that on purpose. Grown adult men with kids who go to the theater to watch that. You know, when I brought that up before, I, I've been told, well, Gal Gadot is, is really hot. She's attractive. Well, of course I want to watch it. Get a girlfriend, dude. Like, get married. Get a wife. You're going to sit and watch a two and a half hour terrible movie because she's attractive? There's, there's lots of attractive. You can see attractive when you go to the grocery store to see an attractive woman. Are you going to sit and watch this terrible movie for that reason? Okay, first of all, who the hell dresses like that for trench warfare? That's what I'm trying to understand. So, there, oh, there's a war? Well, hang on, let me, let me put my leather leotard on. And she's not impervious to bullets, right? Ah! 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 She's not. So just like her little bracelets are impervious to bullets. So, so she's got 20 German guys firing at her and none of the bullets hit any part of her body except for a couple that she can deflect. In order to block a bullet, she'd have to move her arm so quick that we don't even see it move. And yet she just kind of casually, but there's a bullet. Are they actually in real life firing slow motion bullets at Wonder Woman? Is that what's happening here? I've never seen anyone move that fast. The other guys, they get out and they start charging towards the German guys. And, but then inexplicably, the German guys also get out and they, it's like Braveheart. They, you don't, that's not how trench warfare works. If you've got people charging at you, you stay in your trench and you, and you just shoot them all, you mow them all down. They decide to get out, and then when that happens, Wonder Woman, like, jumps in the air, you know, 50 feet and lands in the trench. Well, then why didn't you do that to begin with if you had that ability? She starts just kind of casually walking into the middle of the firefight and then realizes, oh, I can do a super jump and just end up there. This is all to be expected for one of the lamest, corniest superheroes to ever be invented. Even the name Wonder Woman. Can you imagine in real life if somebody had superpowers and then decided they wanted to fight crime, and they made that outfit for themselves, and you asked them what name they chose, and she said, oh, uh, I thought I'd go with Wonder Woman. Can we workshop that one a little bit? What are Wonder Woman's powers, anyway? She has uh, magical bracelets, I guess. She has, a, I think she has a whip, right? And um, I think she has a van, like the mi a mystery van. Or is that Scooby-Doo? No, she has the jet. She has an invisible jet. I'm uh, actually in the lavatory of the invisible plane. Which would be... Utterly useless against modern radar technology, by the way. So, lame, corny, useless, Wonder Woman, number five. Let's go to number four, Black Widow. Now, she should really be higher on the list, I think, but there are just too many lame superheroes to go around, so decisions have to be made. Black Widow, from what I understand, has no superpowers. So she's just like, uh, she's just a, she's a chick, right? She's just a, a woman. What is a woman? She's Scarlett Johansson, is, is, is Black Widow. And Scarlett Johansson is five foot, three inches tall and like 90 pounds. And we're supposed to believe that this skinny little female with no special magical powers, it is going around beating the hell out of dudes three times her size. All these goons are standing there. None of them are armed. They wouldn't just pull out a gun and just shoot her in the head? End of storyline? And I get that this is fiction, but you might as well have a character who is a baby. Have a Stewie Griffin show up and just it, it, make him one of your Avengers. Oh, I feel as invincible as Superman. I can't take it seriously. You know, in the past, public schools were simply neglecting foundational subjects like uh, math, English, science, and history. Many looked the other way. Now we see that woke teachers are proudly bragging on social media about pushing radical, sometimes sexually charged propaganda on kids as young as five or even younger than that. There are even reports of teachers secretly hosting drag shows for students without the consent of parents, all with the blessing of unions and some members of Congress. 
If you want a real education for your child, then you need Freedom Project Academy. They've perfected live online learning for more than a decade. Freedom Project Academy is built on Judeo-Christian values and classical curriculum. They're dedicated to providing mastery of subject matter, not leftist propaganda. Go to freedomforschool.com. That's freedomforschool.com to request your free information packet today. Think about this. What is a college degree worth if the average public school graduate can only read and write at a seventh grade level? That's how bad it is. So go to freedomforschool.com. That's freedomforschool.com and get your child enrolled at Freedom Project Academy today before spots fill up. That's freedomforschool.com, freedomforschool.com. So Black Widow is uh, number four. Now we'll go to number three with She-Hulk. I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She-Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. Girl, your ass looks crazy right now. You could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? Yeah, this is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. Okay, now, as far as the film itself, and I know I'm kind of conflating, like I'm ranking the films and also the characters, I'm conflating to, but whatever, we're just going to go with it. The, the CGI is on the level of the 1970s Hulk. It's about on that level. We've, we've come full circle, actually. And this is just a woman in green makeup. This looks like if a high school put on a stage production of Shrek. That's kind of what it would look like there. And the Hulk, though as a character, is dumb enough. He's a superhero that any eight-year-old could make up. And pretty much every eight-year-old has made up the Hulk independently before discovering that the Hulk exists. He's really strong and, uh, like, like really, really strong. Anything else about him? Uh, he's green. He's a strong green guy. Every movie with the Hulk, that's the question that they're asking you to contemplate. What if there was a strong green guy who existed? And you just watch and you see, okay, this is what would happen. So that's dumb enough. But then you take him and give him a sex change and it's even worse. You have a female Hulk. What are we going to call her? Um, uh, She-Hulk, let's call her. Not very progressive. I mean, in this day and age, in the year 2022, you're going to put pronouns in front of a Hulk and you're just going with she? What about a non-binary Hulk? Can we get a they Hulk? Yet another problem. Uh, what are we on now? Number two is some superhero called Captain Marvel. Is that why we never hung out? No, I just never liked you. I feel concussed. I feel brain damaged watching this. I, just, I you know, you really, it's one of those things you do get dumber. Did anybody watch this? Maybe no one watched this one. I don't know. I hope nobody did. They really played I'm just a girl during that scene. They really did that. Did we did we put that in or is that in the movie itself? Oh, it's in the movie. They put that in the movie. They might as well have her shout girl power while she's like, she does a she does a drop kick and she's like, girl power. And what are Captain Marvel's powers exactly? Besides girl power. She has super strength, super speed, super agility, and super durability. She also has healing powers and she can fly at the speed of sound and she can shoot magical laser light beams out of her hands. They just decided she can do everything, which is just as lazy as giving her no powers and just as boring, incidentally. In fact, it's, if anything, more boring. One of my fundamental problems with these superhero films is that there's no tension at all. These are people who are indestructible. They can do anything. Even if something bad somehow does happen, now with the Marvel movies, we're introducing other universes. So there's multiple. So we just, you know, you can kill somebody off and just replace them. There's an infinite number of, of Spider-Mans that can just replace. What's the point of any of this? There's no tension here. There's no suspense at all. Zero. 
Anyway, what we're talking about. Oh, Captain Marvel. Uh, not to mention the distribution of powers among all these heroes and villains is so uneven that it just it doesn't make any sense when they all fight each other. So you've got like a superhero with super strength who can fly faster than a sound wave and incinerate you with light beams out of her eyes or whatever. And she's somehow drawn into a stalemate against some other character who learned karate in fifth grade. One minute someone has, is a god and has all the powers in the world. Next minute, if the scene requires him to just be sort of a normal dude, then that's what he is. Doesn't make any sense. And I'm trying not to hold Brie Larson against Captain Marvel. Brie Larson is insufferable, but that's not the character's fault. Is that like a personal attack or something? Or you... My problem with the character is that she's boring, pointless, and lazy. Finally, this has gone on way longer than it should or I ever thought it would. We'll go to number one, and that is uh, Batwoman. I'm Regan, by the way. Kate Kane. He married your ex and has no idea. Wow. You're good. Gotham. Am I right? <laughs> no. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, so you're in. Okay. All right. I got another that. Uh, so this is on the CW, I think. So in, in least, at least in this case, nobody is watching it. So I can at least say that. So that's the that's good thing. So that's Batwoman, I think. And Batwoman is a lesbian. No big surprise there. What is a lesbian? The problem with Batwoman is very similar to the Black Widow problem because she has no superpowers, no special abilities, and yet I'm supposed to take her seriously as this physically imposing presence, somebody who beats up bad guys. And that doesn't work because there just there has to be a certain intimidation factor for the character to work. And no one, you're looking at this chick, nobody's intimidated. And this is worse for Batwoman because you have Batman to compare her to. And every time Batwoman is on screen, you're just thinking how much better it would be if it was Batman. And there's certainly never a time when as a victim, you'd prefer to have Batwoman come save you. You know, I'd rather have Robin. Robin? They said you? There's another member of the LGBT community, but you'd rather have him show up. What she lacks in, uh, uh, in physical ability, I guess she makes up for in, in wokeness. So she is, in fact, the worst superhero. And the fact that all five of the worst ones are women, it's not my fault. Okay, I didn't plan it that way. It's just I didn't I didn't I didn't make this list. I simply observed it. It was written in the stars and I it's an objective reality. Don't blame me. Blame the people who came up with this absolute nonsense. Well, those were a bunch of uh, lame superheroes, but if you don't want to be lame and useless yourself like all these female superheroes, then make sure you hit that like button, Hulk smash that notification bell, annihilate that subscribe button and be a true superhero.